time for sound design. In today's video, I'm going to sample again and do some sound design in Ableton Live. Often when I do this, I sample from vinyl records, but today I'm going to do something else. I'm actually going to sample from YouTube. And since I'm on a Mac, there is no uh, built in way to sample the audio that comes that you basically hear that comes out of your, your speakers. So I'm going to use a software called Audio Hijack. And this piece of software allows you to basically record anything that you play on your computer. So whether it's on YouTube or Spotify, um, you can record that output and it records it to an audio file on your hard disk. And then you can import that into Ableton and there you have your sample. So instead of having to take the sound out of your sound card, record it on an external recorder or somehow route it back in. This is a much easier way of doing that. Let's get started and I'll show you how I use this. So when you download Audio Hijack and open it up, you get this session list where it lists different applications that you have been running. Uh, so here I double clicked on Web Audio and you see Google Chrome is open here in the background. You can set what kind of format you want to record in, MP3, WAV, AAC, and then here on the right you have your list of recordings. I'm actually using this in trial mode, so you can only record for 10 minutes and then there's a noise overlay, but if you want to record like a short sample, typically what I do, then this works fine. Otherwise you have to buy the software. So I went to YouTube and I loaded up the Dire Straits Water of Love, Let's see if I can play this without any copyright strike. So what I want to sample is just that intro, that kind of percussive sound, and I'm going to use one of them and then create an instrument from that in Sampler. Um, so let me rewind that and run Audio Hijack to capture that sound. So that's enough, it's nine seconds. I'm gonna find the file on my hard disk and load it into Ableton. Here in Ableton, we have the file, as you can see, it's the ticking. And then I'm gonna load this into sampler. As you can hear, there's a little bit of noise in the recording. I don't know why that is, because... Um, so the reason why there's, you can hear a lot of noises, I think because I have a compressor and a limiter on the output in Ableton. Um, so it is a little bit in the file, but it is kind of amplified a lot now um, because the original recording is not that noisy, but that's, I guess, part of the, the sample. So let's leave it uh, like that. So I changed the start and end point now. Um, let's get really close to this point. This is the original pitch, if I play it higher an octave. Especially when I play it lower. Let's lower the release time a bit. So this is two octaves lower, this is one octave lower. It's the original pitch. I think two octaves lower kind of sounds nice. Maybe put the sustain down and the decay a bit up. And maybe a fun thing to do is to actually load our pitchator. Let's put in some notes, maybe something like an E. And then in the key of C, E minor, A minor. And of course we want some effects on this because this is a bit dry. So let's add a delay and a bit of reverb to give it a bit more uh, room. So let's start with a delay, filter the output only for the high. And adds a bit of reverb, not too much. Let's 
And let's change the sequence to something that lasts for four bars. So yeah, this is a very simple arpeggiated sound from a one uh, short percussive sample uh, in sampler with a bit of delay and reverb. But the cool thing is that this is from a sample, from a sound, just from, in this case, YouTube, but you can take it from any kind of online source. Of course, if it's public domain, you can actually use it in a commercial way as well. But by using Audio Hijack, you can easily capture any sound uh, that you want to use uh, recorded into an audio file without the need for exter external routing with the sound card or any stuff like that. So if you're on Mac OS, this program is really uh, helpful for sampling. Let me know in the comments how you sample from the internet or from other audio sources on your computer, what kind of software you use, if you have any good tips for that. As always, keep making music. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.